In this video, you will learn how to work with pin to edge section and auto layout system with the new artboard studio. Let's go to template section and search for Instagram and pick this animated template as an example. Let's see how is this template animated first. We have text layers, smart object layers for photos and at the end we have the call to action part. Now we are going to create a vertical Instagram story version of this square animated template. We will use pin to edge feature to make this automatically. First I will create a copy from this template to keep the original version. We may need to compare. I press option key and drag to the right and it generated related mockup artboards below. I can bring them here with organize mockup artboards function easily. Now we have to define which element stays where after we resize the artboard. Now open the layers panel and start defining element positions. Select the layer and go to right sidebar. Simply press the plus icon. Now you have added pin to edge option to this layer. For this text layer, I want it to scale according to my new artboard size, so choosing scale option for both. Now, whenever I resize the artboard, it will scale the text box. Same pin to edge for the other text layer. Move the playhead and see other animated objects. Now, select this smart object layer with this male model. I will keep this layer always on the top left. Move the playhead, now we have this female photo layer. For this layer, I want to keep it always on the right center. Move the playhead again and decide the last scene elements. We have this call to action text on the bottom. I want to keep this text always on the bottom left. There is another text layer in the middle. So, I want to keep it always on the left center. Collection text also can stay on the center left. So, now all of my layers and elements are ready for resizing. Let's create another copy from this artboard, which we all define the positions for elements. Again, bring related artboards to below it. Now moving my artboard to another place, because I will resize it vertically. After you select the artboard, go to right sidebar, preset sizes menu, then choose Instagram story. Now here is the great part, if I play the animation, you will see my elements positions and sizes has changed according to this new vertical artboard size. The photo layer comes to left and top, the female photo comes to right and center, my text layers has scaled. The call to action text comes to bottom left as we determined on the square version. Let's go back in time and fix some small issues for this text layer. Because we have chosen the scale option for these layers, so it scaled the text box but the font size didn't change. So we can simply move the text layers a little bit left to right to align perfectly. First, tag these layers with colors to work easier. Expand the layer on the timeline and see the keyframes here. In order to avoid creating auto keyframes, I don't enable the record animation option. and moving the text layer a little bit down. Let's zoom in to be sure they align perfectly. Now we are all set. Let's play the animation to see the results. So far, we did a great job and created a vertical version of this animation without touching keyframes or elements in the design. Now I will play the original square version to see what has changed. Let's put both square and vertical animations next to each other and compare. Play the square version first. Now preview the vertical version. Pretty cool and identical. In minutes you can create different variations for your designs or animations. The new artboard studio will make your life easier with these smart features. Marketing designers never need to replicate designs for different sizes anymore and still has the full control on the project.